Several companies are using Doppler radar to create custom drag functions, also called drag models, for individual bullets. The claim is that by using custom drag functions, download predictions are much more accurate than using simple G1 or G7 BC values. In this video will put that claim to the test and get a look at several custom drag functions using Ballistic Explorer's Drag Analyzer. The Finnish company Lapua has granted permission to distribute their custom drag functions with Ballistic Explorer. We're going to look at three of their bullets, the Naturalist, the Sinair L, and the Lock Base. To load any drag function, click the Drag Function button next to the BC parameter. This opens a Select Drag Table dialog. All the standard drag functions are listed at the top in black. Custom drag functions are listed below in blue. I'm going to scroll down and find the custom drag function for the 7mm Sinair L, 180 grain. Double click this line. That opens up the drag function conversion dialog. By default, all custom drag tables have a BC of 1. That's automatically selected for me, so I just click OK. We now have the custom drag function loaded into Trace 2. I'm going to change the trace name to Lapua's product code for this bullet, which is GB554, so we can keep track of it. Lapa also publishes the G1 and G7 BC values for this bullet. We want to compare the custom drag function to those two standard drag functions to see how much difference there is. This can be important if you're using a mobile device in the field that doesn't support custom drag functions. It's also useful to learn more about how this bullet behaves. The G1 BC for the Sinair L is 0.66 one and I'm also going to change the name of the trace up here to reflect that 0 0.661 for trace 3 we want to use the G7 drag function so I come over to the select drag function button in trace 3 click that to open up the select drag table dialog again Double click on the line for the G7 drag function. That opens up the drag function conversion dialog. And here I'm going to just enter the value that Lapua has for the G7BC, which is 0.332, and click OK. And we're going to come over to the trace 3 name and change that to G7 and 0 0.332 in order to keep track of it. Now we come over to the drag analyzer again and when I click on it it'll update and I'm going to turn on the G7 drag function down in trace 3. So here's our first look at these different drag functions. We got the trace 1 which is in red which is the G1 the custom drag function is green and the G7 is in blue. And I'm going to shut the G7 off for a second so we can look compare between G1 and the custom. You can see there's a difference here as we get above about 2800 feet per second. There's more drag on the G1. I'm going to increase the velocity range to get a look at the higher velocity here, about 3400 feet per second and also there's a difference at low velocities. So now let's look between the custom and G7. So you can see the G7 is a really good match at the higher velocities but after about under 1800 feet per second the custom drag function has a little bit less drag. So now the real question is, is how, how is the drop affected? Difference between the custom and the G1 and the G7. We'll go down to the examine traces dialog. So we have a muzzle velocity here of 3,000 feet per second. By 1,000 feet we're down into the 1700s. So we're going to look at drop and I'm going to do a right click to open up the comparator. So I'm going to compare what's the maximum difference between trace 1 and trace 2. Trace 1 is G1, trace 2 is the custom. 
and here we see we have a maximum difference of 0 0.061 MOA at a thousand yards. It's almost no real difference that's smaller than any group size you could expect to get. But let's take a look and see what the G7, how well that matches. So I come down, open a comparator, compare trace 2, which is the custom, to trace 3, which is the G7. And that's even closer at 0 0.013 MOA at 935 yards. The comparator looks at every reading in one yard increments from the muzzle out to whatever you have the range set to, which is a thousand yards in this case. So we come back up to the drag analyzer. And what do we learn here is that if you can't use the custom drag function, the G7 drag function is a very good match for it with muzzle velocities of 3,000 feet per second and even higher because the G7 and the custom match all the way out to where we're down in the 1,700 feet per second range. If we want to go further in range, we could look that too by setting our scale to 1,500 yards. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at another one of the Sonair L bullets, 150 grain, and we're going to see how that compares. But I'm going to skip ahead in the video rather than going through all the setup. So I've got the GB553 set up. That's the 150 grain version of the same 7 millimeter bullet that we had before, which was 180 grains. That's in trace 2 in green. The uh, Lopwood G1BC for that bullet is 0.526 and the G7 is 0 0.260. We have them set here. So I'm going to take a look first and see how well the G1 matches. So you can see we have a really good match, amazingly, for the G1 to this custom drag function. And let's take a look at the G7. And that's a good match too, but it's not quite as good a match down in the lower velocity range. So now we're going to come down and look at the examined traces again. And we're going to take a look at velocity here. I said a thousand feet in the last bullet, but it's actually a thousand yards. So we got a muzzle velocity of 3,000 feet per second. We're down into the 1400s here. And you can see the custom, which is in trace two, is very close to the G1, a little farther away from the G7. Let's go look at drop. And let's use the comparator. And I'll look at the difference between trace one and trace two, which is the G1 and the custom. And it's really close at 0 0.057 MOA at 878 yards. And let's take a look at the G7. And that's between trace 2 and trace 3. And that's a little bit more, 0 0.173 MOA at 100 yards. So come back up here. Look at this. So what's interesting is that even though the Sonair L is a very streamlined, very low drag bullet that you would expect the G7 would be a better match to. And it's only 30 grains lighter than the previous bullet we looked at, which was a better match using G7. This particular bullet is a better match to G1 than it is to G7. Either one of which you could use G1 or G7 in a mobile device and get very good results. And the G1 would give you results close enough that there's no practical difference in the field. So now we're going to go and look at one of the naturalists. And we expect that G1 will match that very well. I've loaded the custom drag function for the 30 caliber 170 grain naturalist bullet, which is the N558 product code, and the equivalent G1BC, which is 0.354, and the G7 is 0.177. And we can see that they disperse after about 2,800 feet per second and higher. And the G1 in red and the custom in green are a pretty good match below 1,800 feet per second. The G7 is much more drag in this area. And so now we're going to go down and look at the velocity and the drop and compare those. And so we have 
we're down to below the speed of sound at a thousand yards with the uh, G7 being quite a bit different than the custom and about 19 feet per second difference between the custom and the G1 what we really want to see is the drop and so we bring up the comparator with a right click comparing G1 to the custom which is in trace 2 and we have 0.51 MOA at a thousand yards that's about two clicks on some scopes and the G7 which is in trace 3 compared to the custom in trace 2 and here we're at 1.498 MOA which is about six clicks on many scopes so what we can conclude from that is that the uh, G1 is a much better match for the naturalist bullet than the G7. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, lock base which it might be kind of hard to judge from the shape whether the G1 or the G7 is a better match for this but we'll load in the custom drag function and make that determination. I have the drag function for the lock base 30 caliber 150 grain bullet loaded we can see here we have the B466 custom drag function loaded. It's in green with the published G1 and G7BC values. And we can see that they converge at about 2,500 feet per second. The custom drag function has more drag than either the G7 or the G1 down at 1,200 feet per second, while it has less drag at higher velocities over 2,800 feet per second. I'm going to take a look at the velocity and can see what that looks like. So by a thousand yards, the velocity is down to around the speed of sound using the custom drag function. The G7 predicts a higher velocity and the G1 predicts an even higher velocity than 1,267 feet per second a thousand yards. The drop is what we really want to look at. So I use the comparator and compare G1 to the custom. So we're at 0.756 MOA difference at 1,000 yards, three clicks on many scopes. The G7, which is in trace three compared to the custom in G2, is 0.573 MOA at 1,000 yards, a little over two clicks on many scopes. So what this shows us is that with this lock base, this is really a bullet that needs a custom drag function, at least if you're going to do long range shooting. But maybe you use it at a shorter range. Let's say, let's look at it at 500 yards. So I'm going to come up and change the scale to 500 yards. And come down and look at the velocity down here. You see we're down at 1,996 feet per second. So we're more in this area from here down to about 2,000 where the G7 looks like it should be a pretty good match most of the way. So let's take a look at the drop. And we'll do a comparison first to G1. So it's 0 0.076 MOA at 500 yards. So that's a good match out to 500 yards and the G7 would be 0 0.065 MOA at 500 yards. So if you were using the lock base out to 500 yards you could get a good match with G1 or G7 but if you want to go farther where you're going to get into lower velocities then you really need to be using the custom drag function or a stepped BC in order to match the actual drag characteristics of the lock base bullet, at least that particular lock base bullet.